right. Today we're going to clean this uh, stupid thing all. And we're going to fix it because there's a problem with it. Does run properly, so we're going to take it apart. So we uh, start with removing the wheel. Oops, okay. We're going to need size 70 for this one. Enough. Enough. And then you just do this. Oops, okay. So, yep. Yeah. When I got this wheel off, I just got back to you guys, so yep. Right, we got it loose, so well, just gonna take it off. Be careful, there are two bearings. One, up here in this wheel, there. So we go, put the wheel at the side, and one should be down here, but there isn't any. Huh, alright. Okay, next we take a flathead screw driver or just a cross, it's just what you want to use. So, so screw off the exhaust. So, locate it. Ah, uh, shoot, I need some tools for that. Where did I put that yesterday? Uh, yesterday I worked on my Sasha engine and that's when I used it uh, the last time. Ha! There it is. Alright. So, yep. There's one here. So, we just loose it up. This one down here. So I take it apart. It, uh, the tools were rusted down. Yep, I get it out, but all things up. But yeah, and the screw is very stuck. I got a tip. Take an old vital. Put it on the side right here. I'm going to knock it with a hammer at the end. What we do? It will turn and can get it out. So easy. We got that thing off and. Now we're going to take the carburetor off, just a flat out. We're going to take it off, actually, it's working, I don't know, no. These screws are stuck also. That. So yeah, I'm going to take them off, be right back. Alright guys, I got the carburetor off over here. Also the pool, start. And I'm going to remove. Ignition. I already removed the CDE, so that's good. So I just I got it on my shelf the CDE for this one. So. This one, right? Second. <coughs> Awesome. So we don't need that anymore. On this top, we going to remove this one. It's easy. Just pull it up at one side, and it will come out like this. And take this off now. This one. Brake drums. Don't need it. Well, okay. I going to remove this one. This one. This one. This one. This one, that one, and then we get back to you, okay, guys? So, well, okay, got all the nuts off, but now we need to remove the flywheel. I had to do that before, but whatever. I'm going to use my homemade piston stop, which we insert it like so. Just like. That right, and if you now will turn, stop. So this one. I think it's a 13, and no, it isn't. Hmm. 
What about trail? No, it is there either, huh? Hmm? Am I crazy? Huh? It's a fire thing, whatever. Alright, I look at that. So I just... You know... Ah. Ah. Well, I'll take it off again. Take it off. It was first about... You knock and... Use off. Put it over. Okay. I'll loosen up. Except this one. So just loosen it up a bit. Like... So. And now just... Check if everything is off. And uh, yep. So... At least this one. Um, I'm going to take that one off. Be right back. Got the thing off and I just removed the bearing because we didn't need it. So just dig around till we got the bearing. I put it up there and now this is my one. Right, it's loose. So there we got it. Here, I'm going to show you the gear. Use off. Wait, how this works? How this well, actually, it's now torn up on, but it ain't better. Put one, one of those bearings. Put it over here. All right, there's the piston. Shoot! It's small. Yeah. So I'm going to take off the PC stop and displease it. So. All right, we just cleaned the cartridge. Cleaned. Cleaned well. Yeah, this my start end, but I don't gonna continue because I ordered some parts on the internet. But whatever. Well. The part we clean it again. There it is. That's the first one. Where's the second one? How? Something's missing. Got it. Just enough. Oh, I'm grimy. Alright. Alright, what we're going to do right now is put back together. Why? It's not uh, done yet. Well, I know, but whatever. Just take it on. Like so, I believe. No, it's out of the way. Just how you think this need to be, and that's you going to place it, right? So, like that. Take the cutter, clean it, put it in the right side. Uh, just check if it's on the right spot, and it is. All right. Huh, just drop it. Mm. I uh, I have to do this with two hands. Be right back. I start with the bearing. Put it on. There we go. Crankshaft. Need. So yeah. All right. There it is. Like so. We're going to need the second bearing. This one, so to put on right there. Can we do put this on, put that on, like that, and then you go to place on bearings. Like that one. 
Why do we do that? Like this. Ooh, I wanted to show you that point, but damn it! All right, there we go. Over there. Shove it in. Yeah, there. I'm going to place the seal. So. Shield like there, right there, and you're going to put the cover on. Like so. Okay, let's board it down, shall we? Alright guys, I got it back together. As you see, I just put the bearing back in because or else it would flop off and the gaming was all over the place. So what we're now going to do is place back the right. You can see it a bit, like so. Well, then you got this plate. Put it over there. Two flat hat screws. And two drums. So, when I dump that, I get back to you. Alright guys. I just put the flywheel on, the ring drums, and I hosed it down with the compressor, so, well, I decided to put another ignition on, because the other one was just dead. So, just a new ignition, like so. So, we put it on place with two bolts, you're going to use the black wire as ground. So, black, remember, ground. And well, you have to put the sizes correctly. If you don't, um, there is a zero three millimeters between between the ignition and the flywheel. If you don't do that, it won't spark good enough. Okay, this is the CD. You're going to co connect by like red, red, black, blue. So red. Black and blue. Well, this end of part one of the uh, Spotomatic engine. Tomorrow it will be running, I promise. I'm uh, just going to clean the carburetor. Just in my clean fluid. So, yeah, guys. Well, you see this engine back in a while. I have ordered the parts for it, like the piston rings and some bolts. So, yes, guys. Well, tomorrow we will see the Spotomat running, so please keep in touch, uh, please subscribe, goodbye.